The interference pattern we get when light travels through a very narrow single slit is different than the double slit in the grating. I'll show a picture. As you can see in a single slit that central maximum is much brighter and wider than every other maximum. Our reference line always starts in the middle of the central maximum. So here, the distance to the first dark spot that usually that corresponds to an n equals 1 on the right hand side of our equal sign outside of that initial or that central maximum the distance from bright to bright that would go with n equals 1 the distance from dark to dark that would also go with n equals 1 the weird one is that central maximum from the bright to the next dark is n equals 1 otherwise it's bright to bright and dark to dark go with n equals 1 our conditions kind of look the same w sine theta is the same as W Y over L. This time our bright spots are shifted off by a half because that central bright spot is so wide so our constructive interference has the plus a half and our destructive interference is n lambda. Basically this question is asking for the distance from here all the way across to there n equals 1 gets us from the central maximum to the one dark and then another n equals 1 gets us to the other dark. A sort of typical example will talk about how wide the central maximum is. To measure the central maximum we're going to go from a dark on one side of that first bright spot to a dark on the other, the first dark on the other side of that bright spot. If we piece together this question we've got a lambda equal to 600 nanometers or 6 times 10 to the negative 7 meters we've got a slit that's 4 times 10 oops that should say negative 5 meters wide I've got a little typo up there let me fix that 4 times 10 to the 5 meters wide it would never be a positive 5 so that should read 4 times 10 to the negative 5 meters the screen is 3 meters away that's our L value and if we want to go from the dark on one side of the central maximum to the dark all the way across on the other side, that's an n equals 2 situation. I'll flip back a screen to show you what I mean. If we plug in our numbers, wy over l equals n lambda, the w we know, we don't know the y, the l was 3, and that's equal to 2 times our lambda. Oops, kind of ran out of room there. Let's get rid of make some more room. Two times ten, the, six times ten to the negative seven. When we crunch all that out, we get a y value of zero point zero nine meters, or nine centimeters.